as a young educator, I had an opportunity to have a student in my general education class who was included with us. Um, he was a young man with autism back before we knew what autism really was. And it was really scary to be that teacher, to have that child in my class, because I didn't have a lot of training. But what I learned from that experience is that all the children needed him as much as he needed them. And that community needed him to be included. When I look at what happened with that little boy, an entire community, an entire family was changed forever. And I wanted to bring that to Prosper ISD because in Prosper ISD, we believe that all children deserve the best. So I began by reaching out to Region 10, worked with the Early Childhood Special Education uh, consultants there, and we began to talk about what are the different models for including our children. And we visited some other districts that were models for us. When we were originally kind of thinking about this idea, we went to work. We started um, doing all kinds of research. We reached out to our regional service center that was wealth of knowledge for them um, to help guide us in our very first steps when we began thinking about this, developing this proposal. We actually went in road trips. We visited lots of di districts who might have already been in this place. We were very intentional in getting people that were here for the right reasons. Um, even in spite of our fast growth, and the challenges that the pandemic brought, these teachers truly knew the importance of our children becoming uh, and being ready for kindergarten. Um, they're coming out of a pandemic. Many of these children had not left their home since they were born, essentially, and um, there was a lot of fear surrounding that. However, um, when the parents saw what the model was and they so value education for their children, they knew that this was going to be a game changer. And I was really starting to notice that our English language learners weren't having pure models and they need that language rich environment with students their own age really using that vocabulary and sentence structure and they weren't really getting that opportunity. And then our students in early childhood education in the special ed department were not getting peer models as well all day. They were doing inclusion but it was 15 minutes here, 30 minutes there, you know, as the art committee decided, but it just felt really unnatural and I was really wanting more. And Prosper, we have really developed a fantastic play-based program with um, language rich environment and I thought, well, why can't we do that? All three classrooms are doing this every day, so why can't the students be together. If we walk from class to class, you're going to see just certain threads that are very much the same and the minutes are the same and we're all within the guidelines. However, each class has its own little culture and climate and um, it is designed to be intentional because all children need different things.